Hey guys, so I thought I'd record a short video teaching you how to solve these 3x3 three three puzzles. I know a lot of people don't like it so much, so I thought I'd you know, take a moment and show you guys how to solve these. Now, I've recorded this video ahead of time, so you're going to see uh, me pausing and starting this video to show you how to, how to kind of solve some of these. Now, there are generally three, four, three sections, I'll say, that you need to solve separately and then, uh, or in order and then... And then once you do that, the remaining pieces will kind of just fall into place. So let me start this video here and let me show you how we can get started with this. All right, so let's take a look at what this, this looks like. So this is the final picture of the of the um of the puzzle. So like this is the solved solution of it. And you can always take a look at this by clicking on that plus next to the picture over on the right side. Now, what I'm going to do here is we're going to kind of label uh, the different tiles here to kind of help us remind what we need to do. So let me give me, give me a moment. I'm just going to label everything here. Okay, so these are the nine different tiles that we have. Now, nine is normally a blank, so you don't actually need to worry about solving that. So what we're going to do when we're doing this is we're going to solve one and two first. We're going to get one and two into place, or we're going to get them together. And then we're going to get three, and then we're going to do four then five, and then six, and then seven and eight should fall right into place right after that. So we're gonna do that one at a time. So let's go back to the original picture now and let's place the numbers appropriately based on where they are. Okay, so this is the actual puzzle here and let's add the numbers in for the different sections. Okay, so here are the numbers. So we can see right now that one is very close to where it needs to be. Two is on the bottom. Three is already where it is, but we might need to move it still because sometimes even if something is where it is, we might need to move it out of, out of the way to get the earlier pieces. Remember, we want to do this in order. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on and so forth. So even if a piece is where it's supposed to be, we're going to move it out of the way if necessary to get one of the earlier pieces into place. So what we're going to try to do right now is we're going to try to move one and two next to each other into the top um, two positions there in the top left and the one next to it. So let's see how we do that. So we're going to solve, start solving this. So we're going to move one over. And that should be pretty straightforward. Now two is only down there. So we're going to move this around. And you see right there, I'm moving the third spot, the third piece out of place. So now we have one and two in the first two spots. What we're going to do next is we're going to move one and two over. A Sorry, so let me rewind a little bit. So we have one and two in the in the top right, top left here. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag one and two over to the left side here. So one is going to be in where the four spot should be, and two is going to be where the one spot is. What this allows us to do is to fit three in next to the two pieces. So let's see how I do that. So once again, we move one and two over to the left side, and we're gonna place three in the two position. And we're gonna try to make the blank spot in the three. So what this does now is we, we can now slide one, two, and three into the correct positions. And just like this, we have one, two, and three in the correct spots. So next we're gonna do the exact same things with four, five, and six. Now four, five, and six is a little bit more challenging because sometimes four and five don't want to go next to each other. And you'll actually see in this video that it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge to get them next to each other. Four should be very straightforward to get into there. You just literally get that one piece there and then we proceed from there. Okay, so let's do that first. So we're gonna move four over. That was just one piece over. Now five is the lion, the bottom half of that lion. So you'll see there that I had to move four out of the way first to get it, uh, get, get this back together. And so I had to cycle between the two left and right sides to put them back together. Now, so this is an issue only if four and five are not in the same uh, four piece cycle. So what you do is you get four into the piece here, you move it out of the way and put five into the other cycle and then cycle it until you can get uh, four and five next to each other. So let's just watch that one more time to see how I did that. So here we have four in position. So going forward, actually it went a little bit too, not far back enough. Uh, there we go. So once again, we're getting four in position here. Now five is underneath it right now, where which is where it's not supposed to be. We want it to be next to it or to the clockwise cycle. So I have to separate the two cycles from each other. And then once you do that, you can put them back together where it's supposed to be. Now, once again, just like we did with one and two, we're going to move four and five to the left side. And we're going to place the six piece 
to the right of it. So in the middle, the middle tile there, and that's the one that's right there. And we put the blank spot to the right of it once again. So four, five, and six are the are the three pieces to the left and over here in the center. And we're gonna slide all three of these right into place. So when we do that, now we have four, five, six into place. Now the nice part from here going forward is that seven and eight will fall right into place. Once you have one, two, three, four, five, six done, seven and eight will always fit perfectly nicely in. So I'm just gonna move these two pieces over and the puzzle is done. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing with this puzzle here. I'm gonna do this a little bit quicker. Now you can see how it's laid out here. So think about where one, two, and three, four, five, six, and so on and so forth would be. The one is the one with the sword. So we're gonna get that into the top left position. And then it's the right side of the helmet. So we're gonna move that over to the middle position in the top. Once again, we're gonna move those two pieces to the left side. And we're gonna place the three piece, which is actually only at the bottom right now, onto the, into the, into the blank spot. So it might take us a moment to bring it over. In this case, I actually needed to move one and two down again because of how the blank space was placed. We needed to do a little bit of shifting here. But once again, once I was done with that, I placed one and two back again to the left side and put three up in the middle top. So we have that position, once again, the L shape in the top here. Put the blank in the top right, and we shift one, two, and three into position. Now we want to get four into position. Four is that left side of his shoulder, or his right shoulder, I guess. We get that into place. And once again, I have those the two, four, five pieces in the wrong place. Four is on the wrong, uh, five is on the wrong side of it. So I cycle this a little bit. So I bring the five piece over to the right side, bring four back up, and then slide five back in. Now let's run the, the six piece that we want over there. So we're gonna move four and five over to the left, once again, and we're gonna cycle those four pieces on the right side until we have the six piece in the very middle. Move the blank spot over to the six spot and then slide four, five, and six into place, and then seven and eight just automatically go into place. So that's the general idea of how you solve these. Now, obviously this takes practice. There are solvers out there I know that you can do to use to solve these but the purpose of showing you this is that as you practice these these get actually a lot easier to do you can solve these honestly in 20 30 seconds if you're used to doing these and once again it takes practice though so um hopefully this helps quite a bit with solving these and good luck